but you can see she's got a very thick belly right here in this section. Definitely a lot of eggs. It's absolutely stunning. Black pastel yellow belly, Ultramel, 100% head hypo. What's up YouTube, Jordan here from JP Reptiles. Hope you guys are having an absolutely great weekend. Today I'm starting this vlog outside because I'm so freaking excited. Finally up here in Toronto, Canada, we have some great weather. Man, it's been nasty the last 30 days. I mean, for any of you guys that are local up here, you'll notice that the last 30 days have been nonstop raining. So it's really exciting to finally come outside and just enjoy some great sunshine. Anyways, today's video is gonna be an awesome one. I'm gonna show you guys a couple of brand new snakes in the collection. These snakes actually got here on the last unboxing video I did, but they were in sheds. So I didn't wanna show them off on camera quite yet. So I felt like today was an appropriate day to do that. As well as give you guys an update on the breeding season. I've got a couple of clutches due to arrive here within the next couple of weeks. So that's really exciting. Let's get inside the snake room. Check out what's going on here at JP Reptiles. We're gonna start off guys with giving you a little bit of an update on the breeding season. For those of you guys who wanna know all five pairings I did this season, make sure you go back and check out my previous videos. You'll get to see all the girls that got paired in that video. But today we're gonna to talk specifically about the two females who have already had their ovulations and have performed their pre-lay sheds, which means that we should be expecting the first two clutches to land on the ground here very soon. It's very overwhelming. It's a lot of anxiety. It's a lot of excitement at the same time. I can't wait. It's gonna be so much fun. But let's show you guys the two girls that are due to lay here very soon. Yeah. We're gonna start off with the very first girl and this is of course my beautiful clown girl now there's nothing else going on with her at all but you can see she's got a very thick belly right here in this section definitely a lot of eggs getting ready to drop she's been curling around a lot at the back of the tub now doing a lot of heat seeking pushing away the cocoa i'm definitely expecting this clutch to drop here very soon and as you can see she's quite inquisitive and she still wants to come out and say hi to everybody on camera hey sweetheart but this is one of those clutches i'm super excited about because she was bred to the batman which is the leopard spot nose clown so we should be expecting leopard clowns spot nose clowns more batmans and also some regular clowns everything is going to be amazing and i just can't wait to see these eggs drop so again guys this is the clown female Female. she's getting ready she's got a full belly and we are going to be getting an amazing clutch here very soon the second girl that I'm really anticipating a huge clutch from because this is a girl that when I was doing all the ultrasounding I definitely noticed way more follicles than any of the other girls I ultrasounded she just looks so different everything was so compact so I'm not really sure if that means she's gonna have a large clutch but I would be very surprised at her size check this out guys this is the firefly heck clown and she's just so thick and so huge she weighs about 2,600 grams, so I'm definitely expecting, hopefully, a massive clutch from her. Not really sure. This is where I would love your experience, guys. Is there any correlation between the size of the female and the amount of eggs they drop or in the amount of follicles they produce? I would love to hear your thoughts from you more experienced breeders. Go down in the comments. Tell me what you think that this girl is going to lay. But you can see she's also heat seeking now. She's had her pre-lay shed. She's pushing aside the cocoa and she's definitely getting ready to drop her eggs very soon. So. That was another pairing with the Batman. These were gonna make some cool heads. We're also gonna be making some cool clown visuals. It's gonna be so exciting, I'm so anxious. Can't wait to have it. So again, guys, that's the Fire Pastel Heck Clown. Of course, guys, when I've got a couple of clutches ready to drop here very soon, I wanted to make sure that I was prepared ahead of time. So. I've got my incubator from Cornell's World up, up in Alberta here in Canada all set up. It's been running for about a month now. I wanted to make sure that everything was good. I also got a new plug outlet wired directly from the panel that is separate from all the other plugs in the room just to be safe because I didn't want to have a chance where I could possibly short out because of all the equipment that's on the plugs. I wanted to make sure that my incubator was on its own plug directly from the panel with no interruption from anything else just to have that extra level of security in case things were to go wrong. So I've got a couple of egg boxes inside already made up. Basically all I did was just use 
this awesome vermiculite that I got from my local home hardware store. It became recommended from a couple of local breeders. I got my six quart Sterilite tub from Walmart. And of course, got some egg crate that I cut up just to put in there. I know some people like to put their eggs directly on the substrate while others like to put it on a little bit of egg crate. Uh, I'm just gonna stick with the egg crate because a lot of people that I know personally do it. They've had success with it and because I don't have the experience of trying out different things myself and I wanna give my eggs the best chance possible to all hatch completely healthy, I just wanted to stick with what I knew worked best from other breeders. So I've got one tester here. This was actually the first box that I made before I made the other two, where I mixed up some vermiculite inside, put some water in it, tested it, left it in the incubator for a couple of weeks, came back and checked on it, made sure that the humidity was good and the mixture was good. I'm happy with it. So I'm very confident that I'm gonna be able to hatch out my eggs very successfully this year, and I just can't wait. All right, YouTube, so the second part of the video, which is the exciting part of the video, is for me to get to show you two brand new additions here in the collection. Two snakes I'm really excited about. One is going to a great cause, and the other one I picked up at Tinley in, in the springtime. So we're gonna start with that one, the Tinley one, and that is, of course, this absolutely stunning Black Pastel Yellow Belly Ultramel 100% head hypo. And she's got a little bit of attitude on her. Of course, she doesn't wanna be messed around with right now, but. This beauty I got from Daniel Allison over a Constriction Addiction. He's got some absolutely beautiful Ultramel stuff. I'm trying to keep her head busy here so she doesn't turn around and get me in the face, but beautiful girl. She's a fantastic eater. I absolutely love the Ultramel gene. I think there's so much potential with this gene. I think we're gonna see a lot of really cool combos come out of the big time breeders very soon because I know a lot of people are working with this gene on the sidelines and not really showing off some of the cool projects that they have behind the scenes. But she's still a couple of years away from being at breeding size, but I've got lots of time to plan that out. And I get to sit back and watch all the professional breeders work their Ultramel projects and get some inspiration for future projects of my own. So again, guys, one more time, this is my beautiful Black Pastel Yellow Belly Ultramel 100% at IPO, and she's a little feisty, but at the same time, very cute. She's a beautiful girl, and I can't wait to get this one up to size and work her into my projects. All right guys, so the second snake brand new addition here in the collection is one that I'm really excited about because A, it was actually donated by Justin Kabilka from J Kabilka Reptiles to the Chasing the Cure auction for Mr. Chase Patton, someone who's worked with Justin for many years who unfortunately developed a brain tumor and had to have surgery to have it removed. And an auction was started in order to contribute to all the medical expenses. So not only is this girl an absolutely beautiful girl and came from an amazing source, but it also the money went to supporting a great cause. And for that reason, I'm super excited about this thing. So what she is, is a cinnamon yellow belly, 66% het clown. I've actually nicknamed her Cinnabon, and don't be fooled by the name guys, this girl is so feisty to the point where I actually think that she has taken over from my ivory girl as the most feisty snake in the collection. I don't want to keep her out too long and stress her out. She doesn't really like to be handled too much, but regardless, she's gorgeous. She's a very beautiful snake, very healthy and very thick. So one more time, Cinnamon Yellow Belly, 66% Het Clown. All right, YouTube, so that pretty much concludes the video today. I just wanted to do a quick video showcasing those two females that I'm expecting a couple of clutches from here very shortly. I'm definitely nervous, anxious, and excited all at the same time, so my head is like, a whirlwind of emotions right now, but I just can't wait to get these eggs out. I can't wait to get them in the incubator. I'm very confident that I got everything set up perfectly, and I'm really excited for what the future holds here at JP Reptiles. So that concludes the video. I also hope you guys enjoyed those two brand new additions in the collection. Make sure you guys go down in the comments. Let me know what you thought about those two new additions. I always love hearing everybody's feedback. Also, if you guys have any words of advice on helping me ensure that my clutches come out and are hatched healthily, 
please, I would love to hear your comments as well. I'm definitely in that learning phase and I'm just soaking up as much information as I can. So that concludes the video guys. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, hit the notification bell, and make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at JP Reptiles Canada because that's where all of my news and my updates come out first. So until the next video guys, I hope you guys have a great season and we'll catch you very soon on another video. Thank you